Well, with the current economy forcing many Americans to pinch their pennies, starting a health fitness program can seem like it costs a lot of money. But today we have two news fitness expert, Wes Cole, showing us how to get fit on a budget. Get fit on a budget. How That's, are you? I'm doing good. The thing about it is, is it doesn't have to be real expensive to start a fitness program. And I think these tips are going to help the viewers today. Kind of get started. Kind of get the ball rolling a little First bit. First thing you say, get some good dumbbells. Well, you know, there's a lot of fancy machines that you can get. But in my opinion, one of the best things that you can do is just get a good set of dumbbells. Kyle, come on out here. You know, you, I can't think of any other exercise that, that you can't do. I mean, you can work just about any muscle group from your shoulders to your back. Kyle, go ahead and get some rows. You can do anything from your legs, lunges, it gets a full body program that's like rocks with holding handles. And the thing about it is, is dumbbells, they don't get real expensive until you get real strong. So if you're a beginner, <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be lifting real heavy weights to start with. Now, as you get a little bit more advanced, they can get a little bit more expensive. But the good thing is, is they last a lifetime. My father actually got me a thing of dumbbells when I was 12 or 13. I still have them sitting out in the garage. So they, they last forever. Yeah, they do. All right. Semi-personal training, you say. What is that? Well, the thing about it is, is so many people, they've, they've found someone or found a trainer that they like. But, you know, they can, it can be kind of costly you know, on an hour basis. But the big thing right now is semi-personal training, where basically, um, you know, you split the hour with with, with one or even two other people, and that substantially that cuts down the hour cost. And I do this at my gym, and I know a lot of other, other trainers do it, and it's almost just as good. You get that, you get that personal touch. There might be one or two other people in there, but there's a lot of great trainers here in Tulsa, and most of them are real capable of doing that. But that's a good way to still get that, get that ability to, to be with a trainer, but it doesn't, doesn't cost you as much. I and I would, I would believe, yeah, that trainers keep you motivated. Absolutely, and I would, I would ask your trainer, ask someone that's interested, ask your gym if they offer that. Yeah. Okay, group training. Group training, actually. I actually wrote an entire chapter in my upcoming book that's going to be published soon about the benefits of group training. I have data going all the way back to eight or nine years, kind of, kind of basically focusing on exercise adherence. Mm -hmm. And I believe that group training is absolutely one of the most beneficial ways to train that there is. Not only is it great for workout because there's all different type of levels, from the grandmother wanting water aerobics to the super athlete wanting, you know, doing CrossFit and stuff. You know, but it's also it's also very affordable. And remember, I always tell people you only need enough motivation to get in your car and get there. A good trainer will take care the rest and there's a lot of a lot of great programs out here in Tulsa all right we have a viewer question this morning it's from Jeff and it says is counting calories really necessary <laughs> when dieting a lot of people want to know the answer to that. you know the truth is it is and I'll tell you why we are horrible at guessing everybody's bad at guessing their calories they did a study about a year ago showing that the average American they underestimate their daily caloric intake by over a thousand calories a day a thousand. Then, yeah. now that's not only enough to keep you from losing weight but that's that's enough to, to, to let you gain weight you know, steadily throughout the month and remember it's a myth that you wake up and you got 30, 40 pounds of fat on you. You know, this is a slow, steady gain. So counting your calories is a good way of putting a real mathematical, you know, mm. thing on it. And, you know, like I said, the numbers in the end, they really don't lie. All so. right. Always good advice. Thank you so much, Wes. If you have a question that you'd like Wes to answer, go to the weekend morning section of our website, kjrh.com. Click on the habitual health link or call Wes, 749-0960. His gym is on 46th Street, just east of Sheridan. George?